actress Roseanne Barr refused to apologize today for a performance few thought funny and many found offensive. Her singing of the national anthem and making what some interpreted as obscene gestures just after that. Barr insisted it was all done with the best of intentions, though she conceded the singing wasn't with the best of voices. Jerry Bowen has our report. At a hastily called news conference today, Roseanne Barr, the combative comedian, fanned the fire started by Roseanne the singer. I haven't ridden in a tank in North Vietnam, but y'all are treating it that way. I'll say, can you see from the really like what Her rendition of the national anthem at Wednesday night's San Diego Padres game was so bad the fans booed. Her ill-timed parody of the game's cruder mannerisms, scratching and spitting, was taken as further insult, akin to flag burning. And I, I felt it was almost kind of sacrilegious. If you're not going to do it in a respectful way, then why do it at all? And the outrage went national all the way today to Air Force One. My reaction is it was disgraceful. Well, I'm sorry I didn't sing I so good, but I'd like to hear him sing it. Do I sing bitchy to you at all? Barr is a pioneer in pushing the envelope of good taste. Because I'm feeling bitch, I'll tell you. To her hard edged TV mom. Would you like to get started on your second life right now? To burn her bottom at another ball game to reveal a tattoo of her husband's name. Her husband says it's not like she was auditioning for the opera. She's an average or below average singer. She did the best she could. Well, Barr and says I'm what you see and hear too, is what she and, uh, did. I'll sing that song again if I feel like it because it's my national anthem. The bar says from now on she'll be much more selective about the audience. Given the way she struck out this week, maybe she ought to head to the showers. Jerry Bowen, CBS News, Los Angeles.